dog runs may be in New York City parks, but they're not run or governed by the Parks Department. The people who frequent the dog runs are responsible for taking care of the dog runs. There's five of us that have come together to help just try to make it a better place for the dogs. We see that the benches could use painting. We see that the gravel needs help. There's a lot of people who complain and bitch and bark. You're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Setting a precedent to actually do something when you're not being told to is really important because it proves that change can happen, even in a small way, just because people want to do it. If we don't take care of the park, the park won't take care of us. The dog park's my livelihood. The dog park is my therapy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's almost like a free doctor. The dog park is always full of drama. You never know what's going to happen. You can't escape the fact that you're just walled in with these people. You would never talk to otherwise. I guess you could say the dog park is my wingman. I'm Seiko. Oh, Nate. Nice to meet you. Hey, pleasure. You? My little guy's uh, the Giz right there. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> very cool. What kind of dog is that? It's Pomeranian. I always appreciate people who are very comfortable just, you know, talking to other people. He's got like this SoCal cool about him. You know, you kind of wish more people were like that. He's definitely on board for whatever we got going on. All these holes underneath the benches, fill those out. You fill in over there by that tree. Organize that area over there with the hoses a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. Dilapidated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this thing is monstrous. It comes right off. So, so another project, yeah, yeah, you I, think? I'm looking forward to meeting the other people who are going to help improve this dog run. I just hope there's nobody going to start, like, causing waves and stuff. Yeah. Don't rock the boat. I have been known to step on people's feet, but you know what? Sometimes they just need to move them. We're all meeting up today. I'm really looking forward to seeing how our personalities mesh and what everybody can bring to the table. Good to see you, Rob. How are you now? I'm Lucia, nice to meet you. We just started talking about some different ways to raise money for the park. To get the major stuff done, we'd have to drum up some money. We just had a bunch of ideas. We just threw them out there to see what would work and what wouldn't. How about if we all had a bench and had like a contest? We can maybe raffle off prizes. It could be a dog fashion show and we could charge people who want their dogs to be involved with it. We decided that it would be a great idea to have a fashion show. Which I thought was really cool and I think would bring a lot of attention and definitely bring a lot of money in. On the low end, a good number would be 500. On the high end, maybe anywhere between three to 5,000. The more money we have, the more we can pour into the park and the bigger projects we can do. If you guys want to work out the deal on the fashion show, because okay. you guys have like good synergy, I'll work with Nate and Chris, and we'll, we'll go get the lumber and get some of that stuff going. I think Chris would probably want to work at the fashion show. <laughs> Everything else involved deliberation. It wasn't even a, hmm, let's see. It was a, let's see, little dogs. It's in West Village, and it involves clothes. Let's give it to the gay boy. Yes, You'd probably be better for the fashion show. <laughs> One of the things that like, I used to always have to do is do like PR stuff to try and get people to donate certain things. Let, I'll do and that with you, because I do Perfect. Marketing. We got a lot of that planning and ideas laid out today. It was good. I want to see who the players are and who's really going to give it their all and who's not. That'll determine who gets on my bad side. Wow, look at this. And somebody let their dog do that and not fill it in? That's so stupid. Or did you want to? I want to fill in the hole is what I want to do. I mean, he's like shoveling already and we don't even have anything planned to shovel. We need some shovels. I've never used a shovel before. Chris is the chaos factor. He's going to give us what he wants to give us. I wasn't planning on starting yet. Yeah, if he wants to, fine. I didn't want to fall into that hole. It's one thing to talk about wanting to do volunteer work. It's a whole other thing about just, just doing it. I'm not going to shovel. I didn't wear the appropriate outfit. I didn't wear the appropriate mindset. I'm not shoveling. I will go sit my black ass down and wait y'all get done. <laughs> oh, be my guest. Lucia is, uh, she seems like just a beautiful, charismatic woman. Within the first five minutes of talking to her, I can tell she's She's definitely a go-getter. Can we get new gravel, though? We're going to get new new rocks, right? <sighs> now that's expensive, sweetheart. Really? You don't speak to women like that. It's 2011, and that's just not acceptable in our society. It's very condescending. It's very demeaning. There you go. Yeah. Not your shoes, sweetheart. The shovel, care. baby. 
dude, just don't call me that. Just don't call me sweetheart. It's just like, it just pisses me off. So hopefully it will not continue. So that's all there is to filling in holes? That's all there is. Oh, okay. I thought it was all complicated. You didn't break a nail, did you? Uh-uh. Seiko is, if I can use animal terms, I could see him wanting to be the head of the dog pack. We're not getting new dirt, though. I want new dirt. Think about how many times dogs have shit on this dirt and on this gravel. Like, how many times has this gravel been but, done? She's a germaphobe. She thinks her dog is not even a dog, almost. Like, a creature that's evolving beyond a dog. What's the longest to leave her home for? I try not to leave her home a lot because she has separation anxiety. I think Katie probably doesn't have a lot of girlfriends, but she needs a man more than I do. I know that. Nate seems to really, really like her. I'm sure he has idiosyncrasies, too. We'll see how that works. I felt like I had a connection with Nate. <laughs> yeah. Right? I was going to ask you, like, what's your, um, I'm just curious, like, are you seeing anybody right now? Or? No, right now I'm not. Gwenny and I are just, you know, flying solo. You know. How about you? Yeah, same. Same, you're single? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah.